Kendrick. Like, yo, bro, I want you to meet Kendrick. No, no, stop, stop. No, <laughs> okay. Stop. What's good, y'all? It is the Master Man Show. Richard Kid speak about the first time meeting Kendrick, man. And this story is going to be mind blowing. Y'all need to watch the full video, man. Before we continue, remember to drop a like and subscribe. Once again, drop a like and subscribe. Let's go. Just like that. <laughs> Wait, I, and Kendrick is not lit at this time. Kendrick is coming up. No, he's right? definitely Kendrick. Oh, he's already sure. Kendrick. Okay, yeah, Kendrick. Kendrick. And, and, and again, I saw some interviews. Yo, this I, dope. This story is dope. Yeah, yeah. TD wow. somehow was connected in the situation with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard you almost sign a TD at one yeah. point. Yeah. But so, continue. I got chills coming out. out. Yeah, nah. For sure. Goosebumps. Was that shit so, called? Like. At the time, I think like I was hitting top. It was like a team type of thing because Manny Smith was working with um, top. It was tied in, and then I played him new freeze. And he like, yo, bro, Kendrick like wants to meet you. I told him I was signing you and shit. He wants to meet you. I'm recording at the studio. I'll keep recording and who, every day. Who saying that to you, Manny. Manny said to you. Please. Yeah, he like Kendrick wants to meet you. He recording in the room next door. I'm like. Kendrick is right next door in the room. He's like, yeah, he about to come in here. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, all right, man. Mm. So I played him two songs. Wait. I played him one song. And then the second song I played him was New Freezer. So when I played New Freezer for him, he like, this the one. He like, right. this the one. I was like. That is the one. You know what I'm saying? I was like. Yo, but at the time, it was a verse from ASAP Ferg on New Freezer. Because mm. when I recorded New Freezer, I was at Quad Studios in New York. It was Ferg. It was a Ferg session. So Ferg had left out. I think he was doing some shit with Buster in the other room downstairs. Makes sense. Quad shit. Studio. Yeah, Quad you know Studio. Buster. He was doing some shit with Buster, and then I did New Freezer. I think I recorded like 15 minutes. And then um, he put a verse on it. So I played it for Kendrick. He like, all right, cool, I'll get on it. But mm. it just gotta be me and you on the song type shit. Mm. I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Ferg, we gotta go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's that conversation? <laughs> yeah. Now Ferg a good dude. Nah, yeah. Ferg is definitely a good dude. Yeah. So yeah, he definitely understood. And he was yeah. like, yeah, bro, do your shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Definitely go and drop the shit. So I dropped it with Kendrick and it was like. Out of here. Yeah. That's a I dropped the girl. It was like, that was three months later after I had bought my way out, my out deal and shit. And man, we should could really come a far away, man. And, you know, we got to show respect to TDE for creating that wave, you know, creating that opportunity connecting Kendrick Lamar with Richard Kidd, you know, and that song, man, it really blown up, man. That song changed his, changed his life, you know. As Richard Kidd said, like, a few months later, he could pay off his debt, you know, and, you know, become more free. But I believe he signed after that, man. But, you know, Richard Kidd, man, he, he did his shit, man. I ain't going to lie. He really did his shit, and that's what hard work is like, man, because... You know, he made a lot of sacrifices, man. He was like rock bottom, man, at his last four grand. You know, he was working with it at the time. I believe it was Interscope. They gave him opportunity, you know, put him in a big house and, you know, did their little studio shit, man. And afterwards, man, he just connect with Kendrick Lamar and the rest is history, man. You know, so, Mr. Kid's story is just a great example, man. Something to use as a motivation so you can know that no matter where you're at right now man you just take the work man just put in the, put it in put in that work man and you never know what can happen man just keep grinding keep discipline keep focus and don't stop